There's like a lot of like inaccuracies. Like, why? There's a lot of questions that still that you haven't answered. Sir, go to the restroom. His point is that it's black. Okay. I'm just gonna say Well, sir, well, let's just keep going. I can't believe it now. Why don't you believe it? Yeah, I don't believe You don't even know why you believe in it. You don't even know why you believe in it. You think uh, there's people on the bottom of the world upside down. Gravity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Upside you think they're upside down? See? It sounds funny, right? Okay, so, like we, we are over here. So when it rains, there's clouds here and it rains down. But people who live here, the clouds are here and it rains up. No, no, no. In order for it to rain here, the clouds have to be here and rain this way. That's, that's what you believe? Okay. Yes, on a flat, it's all up here and it goes down. On a flat earth. But on a round earth, it's here and it goes this way. That doesn't make sense. Okay, that's fine. Now, another question. So let's say you're here. And let's say we have the technology to dig all the way. To the, to the, all the way through the ground. We're gonna end up over here? Yeah. If you, but if you go down, if you go to the middle of the core, you're gonna get crushed, sir, by the gravitational pull. Okay, yes? We, we start here, we dig, we end up over here? Okay, so, at what point does our body flip over? It flips? Our, Actually, you get crushed, sir. There is no gravity, sir. Okay, entonces, si yo me voy al mar y llego hasta el borde, me voy a caer. No, porque hay uh, algo, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah. Antártica, dicen que está aquí. Pero no es. Es todo. Rondo. ¿Y cómo explica los polos? No. Más hay una. North Pole. Then what? Would it be called North Pole if it was flat? Yes. Yeah, it's still called North Pole. Then what? Then what about? That's where Polaris is. Then what about uh, the cold front, sir? Where does the cold front come from? If it supposedly comes from the north, like the North Pole, it comes from all the place to the north, the north, the northern <laughs> countries. Where does it come from? Question, question. What if you dig down? The uh, I, don't, I don't know what would happen. I have no idea. You're going to go down to the bottom. It's all flat. If you were to go down, you're going to just keep more dirt and more dirt and more dirt. No, 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 no. That's what I'm going to do. Yes. Oh, my God. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go from Mexico to Brazil and then back here. I'm going to go down. You're going to go down? Yes. No. Why? If you just have a pole, a pole. 
You're gonna, if you're going this way, you're going to end up here where Antarctica is. Yeah, but we have an Antarctica, yes. Antarctica? Yes. No. They call, what we say as the South Pole is all the way around. Okay. The four points. North Pole and then South Pole. That's how it is. The North Pole is in the middle and the South is all the way around. I'll say that in a we have been discussing a long time ago. I'm sorry. But please do not harass this guy. He's actually a cool teacher. But he has like extreme ideology. I don't I actually like this teacher. He's a cool teacher. Cool teacher. But do not like harass or make jokes of him, please. Religion, I know. Oh, actually, I read the Bible, sir. Mentions nothing about the earth flat. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I can show you multiple verses. No, it doesn't. What? Is there a show religion and science put together? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, come on. 
And including we're far away. They're talking to Spanish. No, no, because it's not that far away. It's not a big shining light that shines over everything now. It's like, uh, I think this is the earth, right? So this is the sun. So when it's over here, it's not light here. It only lights up this And it starts off in the middle like this. And then it gets longer. And then more. Yeah. And then it comes back to the middle. Then why does the Bible do the next thing? And the moon also goes but at, yeah. at different speeds. It's like a clock. The clock has a big hand and has a small hand. They're up and more different speeds. Same thing as the sun and the moon. That's why sometimes you see the sun and the moon in the same spot. Right? So, I'm glad you're in the same spot. An explosion should create a perfect world. Just with an explosion, it takes one and this much. And that's not even enough zeros. <laughs> Zero, not even quintillion. I don't know how many zeros that is. That's the possibility of what is creating this perfect mm. world. You believe that? Or you believe God created it? Actually, how do you know the, it, it will take that, that the earth is that old? Scientists have figured it out. Because that, that, that could be actually true. Because the earth could t be that old. And according, why does the Bible doesn't mention dinosaurs? Dinosaurs are real. They found them. Oh, God. Okay, let's just continue work, sir. I don't want to, like, get a bad grade, sir. Look at my grade, sir, right now, sir. Oh, my God.